Hello, I'm Pastor Lisa Dietrich, and this is an Advent daily devotional for Thursday, December 3rd. And this year, I'm taking a look at a psalm. Today's psalm is from Psalm 130, and I'm putting that together with um, an Advent or Christmas hymn, song, or carol. And the song for today is Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. I'm going to start off by reading to you just two verses out of Psalm 130. They go like this. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits. And in his word, I hope. My soul waits for the Lord. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. Home, oh, home. It evokes feelings of love and laughter. And in our home, because there are so many children and grandchildren, chaos. And home evokes a sense of security and serenity and warmth and, and welcome. Home means mom and dad and fun and games and good food and deep sleep. We know songs that pop into our heads when we think about home. Home, home on the range, right? That's one. Or when Johnny comes marching home again, hurrah, hurrah. And there was a little girl from Kansas who I think said it best. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Some of us though are far away from home or because of the pandemic, maybe you know that you're not gonna be able to make it home this year. And all of us at one time or another find ourselves far away from our heavenly father. Like the prodigal son in Luke 15, we demand our fair share of the inheritance and then we set off for distant lands. And now we can often live with empty relationships and inflated egos. So what can you do now? Wait, wait, you can wait. Wait for the Lord. And in the meantime, you can also sing. Come thou long expected Jesus, born to set thy people free. Christ is our sin bearer and death defeater. He frees us from guilt and shame, sin and blame. When Christ returns, he will take us. He will take you to our heavenly home where we will abide with him forever. From our fears and sins release us. Let us find our rest in thee. Amen. Blessings to each and every one of you, my dear ones.